previous year I had gone for my regular checkup and everything was fine. And then in 2000 I went for my annual there. That's when he noted the doctor noticed that there was like some well that the test the pap smear had come back up normal. So he said we need to do further testing to see what it is. So I went back and then first thing was like a biopsy to see what it was. Then that's when he, they said that I was like in the third stage of it becoming before it became cancer, cervical cancer, for cervical cancer. So he said that it needed to be treated right away. I remember asking him why, why did it happen? He's, he mentioned that there's different strands of the HPV that cause that. So I was shocked, I was scared. Um, I already had my first son. And when this happened, um, he said, you won't be able to have any more kids. But, um, well, thank, thanks to him and all the doctors that helped out. I mean, I still have two more little ones, so. One, one of my kids, he's already 19, but whenever they told me, okay, we have it, can we, I'm like, go ahead. I think he started his first dose, I think when he was 16. And then my middle one, he'll be 13 this year, but, I think they started with him. I think they asked me when, as soon as he turned 12. So I'm like, yes, go ahead. Didn't no, I didn't even hesitate. I'm like, no, go ahead, give him the vaccine. And yeah, I wouldn't want them to go through what I went through, so. So HPV is a short form for virus. It's known as human papilloma virus. It's a virus, it's very common, it's transmitted through sexual activity, and it can cause several diseases depending on the type of HPV you get. So HPV is a sexually transmitted infection, so people get HPV through sexual transmission. Depending on the type of HPV you get, HPV can go from being something where it has absolutely no symptoms at all onto certain types that can cause something called warts, which can give you a rash in your genital area. Many people who come in contact with HPV, their body will be able to clear the virus by itself. But for people who are not able to clear the virus, the virus can hang around and start to cause changes in cells of different parts of the body, and those changes can lead in time to cancer. For the HPV vaccine, El Paso is doing really well. The rest of Texas is really looking at us to see what we're doing to help patients better understand the importance of receiving the HPV vaccine. Although we're doing well compared to the rest of Texas, nationally we are still below the goal. So we still have a lot of work to do to educate and bring awareness to the importance of getting vaccinated. Un alto porcentaje de nuestras familias pues vienen con una cultura muy arraigada y cuando yo digo eso es de que les explicamos sobre la vacuna de, del PBH. Mucha gente cree que poniendo esta vacuna este, pues estamos abriendo un panel así de, de, de que tengan sexo libre. Um, for teenagers, it's like talking about sex is not a common topic. It's, we do mostly jokes about it. But if I were to talk about, oh, did you hear about the new video game that's coming out? All of my friends would come and talk about it. But if I would tell them, oh, uh, did you get your HPV vaccine? They're, they're gonna mostly be like, why are you talking about this? Over time, we've continued to research the vaccine to make sure that it is safe and it is doing what we think that it's doing. We found that the earlier you get the vaccine, so between the ages of 11 and 14, your body is more likely to respond to the vaccine and produce antibodies which are cells that fight infection and it's more effective. As we get older, our response is not as good. So those that are older than 15 need to have three doses of the vaccine to make sure that they have complete immunity or complete ability to fight the virus. Tengo una hija de 15 años y un hijo de 18. La doctora me, me hizo la proposición de que si me gustaría ponerle la vacuna sobre del papiloma humano. Mis hijos, gracias a Dios, ellos yo platicamos eh, que si les gustaría que 
la doctora les pusiera la vacuna del papiloma humano y ellos inmediatamente dijeron que estaba bien. Para mí primero está la salud de mis hijos um, y yo quiero protegerlos a futuro en su salud. I got the HPV vaccine about a year ago, which was referred by my pediatrician, my doctor. And then from there, my parents made a decision to give me the vaccine. Fue por la edad. Siendo que la vacuna la ponían desde los 9 hasta los 26 años, eh, un día pasé por una feria de salud, me explicaron, me invitaron y yo tenía 25 años, entonces dije, creo que es el momento indicado y por eso decidí vacunarme ese día. Por ejemplo, mis papás no sabían acerca de la vacuna. Mi hermana tuvo dosis, pero porque se la pidieron. Pero por ejemplo, en mi caso, a mí nunca nadie me dijo hasta ese día que pues tuve el tiempo y me acerqué y la promotora de salud me pues me, me explicó más acerca de la vacuna. And uh, you know, my daughter was 14 and I think that that's when the HPV um, vaccination program was being offered uh, to all school children. Uh, well, the first thing that we thought about, were, we looked at was, oh my goodness, HPV virus and cancer. The vaccine is very effective in preventing cancer and severe precancerous lesions. So what happens with the HPV vaccine is that they're introducing a protein, the part of the virus, not the part that causes infection, but the part of the virus that identifies that this is the HPV virus. They send it to the cells in the body that help to fight infection so that those cells learn it, they train for it, and they're ready for it. Most of the side effects are really due to local reactions pain at the site of, infect, of injection, swelling, redness. Um, very rarely, some people may feel faint and lightheaded when they get the injection. Usually, we have people just sit down and wait for the feeling to pass, and it passes and they really, they do well. Se me hace que fue un poquito tarde uh, en, que yo, uh, en que a mí me dieron la información. Si yo hubiera obtenido más temprano la información, yo hubiera tomado la decisión mucho más temprano. Well, I advise to uh, not just women, but to males to get the vaccine because if you can be more healthier, if you can make your immune system more stronger, if you can prevent a disease like HPV, to do it because it's it'll help you on the long run. And that it's not just focused on women, but on males as well. It is very, very critical that community members and their healthcare providers develop that relationship and open up this discussion about HPV. We know that um, people in the community trust their healthcare providers to give them safe and accurate information about their health. So it's important that healthcare providers bring up this topic with patients when they come in, when they're due, and answer all of their questions. And it's also important for community members to ask their doctors questions about the HPV vaccine and answer any rumors or doubts that they may have heard out in the community. Yo creo que, que es una tarea que no, no podemos acabar ahorita. Yo creo que es muy importante que la promotora y el promotor de salud existan y salgan a las comunidades, informen la importancia de esta vacuna del BPH en nuestras comunidades y más en nuestras comunidades que están alejadas, que no tienen transporte, que les da pena ir con los doctores, que les da pena preguntar, por favor vayan y toquen esa puerta y lleven esta información. Many of the communities here in El Paso will be at a greater risk because of poverty because of other social determinants, inadequate housing, um, uh, and not having a good access to good nutrition. And so I think it's really important for us to work with our communities, uh, to begin to work together to address some of the root causes that make us susceptible. Most parents take their children to the uh, doctor to get the vaccine so they can actually prove vaccination for this for school. That's the, I would say, the large majority of, of kids. That's what I mean by normalizing it. It's a very normal vaccine. The HV vaccine is not in that uh, level at this point. So it becomes a much different discussion with parents. And in many cases, either providers don't have the time, don't want to do it, 
and we know that for sure. Or parents actually are hesitant because they're told that, hey, this is not a mandatory one, so you might not want to get it. I think as parents, it's really important that you consider this vaccine for your child because you're ultimately the one making the decision for your child. Um, it's important to help prevent because as adults, if they do get HPV, it's hard to go back. And it's at a point where we start thinking, I should have given them that vaccine. Well, I would tell the parents that just because your child has an HPV vaccine, it's not an excuse for them to have sex, but it's mostly prevention. Because if you can prevent your child from having a disease, why wouldn't you? For example, I in particular, al principio decía, sí, solo les va a pasar a las personas o que tienen muchas parejas. Pero en realidad hay veces que no es cierto. Así de que tú nunca sabes con quién ha estado tu pareja. Mi hija ahorita tiene um, un año y medio. Entonces yo pienso que cuando ella cumpla nueve años y le toque su dosis de HPV, le será su dosis de HPV.